every newborn deserves a warm welcome to make them feel right at home. In fact, their lives depend on it. Because sustaining an infant's core body temperature within a narrow range is critical. And in the NICU, it's a matter of survival. Despite great efforts and updates to protocols, a recent study showed four out of 10 babies still arrive in the NICU at least one degree Celsius below ideal temp. There are many risks associated with low admission temps. Infants experience thermal instability in a variety of ways. How can we reduce loss of heat, improve admission temps, and provide better thermal stability in neonates? The answer is better thermoregulation maintenance for the baby. Think of an incubator as a house made entirely of glass. Now imagine if this house was built with only single pane glass. The thinner the walls, the colder the house. An incubator is no different. The double wall provides insulation between room temp air and the warm air in the incubator, reducing the infant's radiative heat loss. The double wall also prevents the infant from coming into direct contact with the warm air as it is added to the incubator. Without the double wall, we would have to reduce the temperature of the air being added. Warmer air reduces temp recovery times after care events, reduces temperature fluctuations, and better maintains thermal stability. Lower air speed near the baby also helps to prevent convective and evaporative heat loss. That's why it's critical to take a closer look at your beds. Because they're not all designed with the same thermoregulation capabilities. GE Healthcare's Giraffe Omnibed Care Station maintains exceptional thermoregulation practices by comparison. Because the first step forward begins with a warmer, safer start empowering you to help our world's littlest patients thrive.